Hi everybody. Um, what I wanted to show you today was a little bit about WordPress. Um, WordPress is a um, blog technology that allows you to create a relatively simple website, customize it to the way that you want to customize it, um, and then make it easy to update it yourself or to enter new information so that the site doesn't become stale and you can provide information to the people that want to come to your site and um, see the content that you're going to provide. In the real estate industry it's um, particularly interesting because um, you can put your listings up relatively easy. Search engines love it so it makes it easier to rank for the keywords that you're looking for for the particular city that you sell within. Um, they tend to look clean and professional um, right off the bat so there isn't a, a whole lot of um, cost associated with creating a custom website which can cost you a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars, depending on what you want to spend with it. A lot of times, you can get a custom blog created for you for four or five hundred dollars. Um, so, in the case of of people who are members to this site, um, many of you use WordPress blogs as it is right now and have had them customized for you uh, to set up. In this case, we're looking at um, a sample one that I've created. This one isn't um, used for any particular customer. Um, we've just created it so that you can kind of get an idea of of, um, of what can be done. So right off the bat, you can see that we've got some pages here, which um, which can be viewed, and has some simple information about different content. As you can see, back to the home page, we've put a picture of the agent here, their logo and information, telephone number up top. Um, down below, we've put one of the most important parts of the the page. Um, which is the, the the online form which allows us to capture lead information so that we can follow up with that and try and generate some business. And then um, it's got categories of the different types of um, posts that have been put on it, most recent posts that people have talked about, and then of course links to different directories and such um, that, um, that the agent feels is an interesting thing. So we're going to go from here and I'm going to show you how you log into this and then um, and how to make a quick post so that you can see how it's done. So with um, most WordPress um, blogs, the login page is um, wp-login php and um, so whatever the name of your blog is or your website is and then wp hyphen login php we hit enter and it will take us to the admin page which is loading right here so you can see we've created um, a login which is admin and there's a password that goes along with it um, at the same time if you have a blog you should have that information already and we're going to log in and boom here we are so this is um, this is this the admin section to where we can do everything and there's a dashboard which has some easy things like write a post update your profile add a bookmark to your blog roll and blog roll is just that list of outbound links that I showed you earlier um, change the theme or look of your site generally unless if you know what you're doing you're not going to touch that too often um, we're going to go to the right section and just let it load up for us here okay so as it's loading up here you can see we have a couple options when we're in the right menu um, one is we can write a post and two we can write a page in this case we're going to write a new post and we're going to say that it is a listing for 15 Progress Avenue. And here's some important tips for you. Make sure you put the city, make sure you put the province um, in, in your post. The reason being is search engines are going to be looking for this type of information. And a lot of the times, um, I'll toss on the added term real estate just so that um, it's easier for the search engines to realize that we're talking about a real estate listing of some type so instead of um, instead of it just being 15 progress avenue and just a simple address and going from there um, and then you'd want to toss your information in so in this case we're going to say this is a, 
a beautiful house located in the great neighborhood of let's see where are we we're in um, West Park West Park Village double check your spelling real quick Obviously, you'd add more information here if you needed to. And then I want to be able to add a photo, and this catches a lot of people sometimes. Um, so in this case, we're going to go down here, and we're going to go to Browse, because I want to find the photo. And I'm going to find a directory with some images in it, um, which would be in the My Pictures directory. And in this case, let's go to here. And we'll find a picture of an ice house. Okay, so we'll say this one here. That's the picture that we want to use, so I'm going to open that. Title of the picture is 15 Progress Avenue. And I'm going to upload the picture first. Once it's uploaded, then we'll be able to put it into the post. And a lot of people, this this usually confuses a lot of people when it when it comes to making a post. They're not sure what they're supposed to do with that particular picture beforehand, and then wonder why they can't get it in there. So it's going to take a little bit of time to post. And there we go. So there's our picture, and you can see I can show a thumbnail. I can show the full size. Um, I can show just the title of it. I can link to the file, the page, and in this case I'm going to leave it as a thumbnail so it's going to show up as a thumbnail picture in here and if people click on it it will get bigger. And I'm going to leave it as a link to the file as it is. And then right here is the button I want to click which says send to editor. I send to editor and it automatically puts, puts it in here. And I can drag it to where I want on the post. In this case I want it at the beginning. And I'm just going to lower my text down a little bit with, it, with an enter. And um, boom, I'm there. So then over here, you can see I have different categories that I want to do. And if you notice, right now I don't have a category called listings. So we're going to go Belleville, Ontario, listings, and create a category for these types of posts. Add. And there it is. And notice it already checks it for me. I want to make sure I haven't got anything else checked because that's the only thing I want to add. And then I'm going to go publish. And as you can see, it says post saved. And I can view the post if I want. So let's go take a look at that by looking at it in a new window. And there's the post. You can see it's dated. It gives it a title already, which is nice. And it says the date and the time it was posted, what category it belongs to. So if there was other Belleville listings, they'd be located in that particular category. right? And in this case, here's the link to the picture. If I click on that, it will show the full-size picture. See? And, um, and the post is good. So that's it for now. We're going to throw some throw some other <laughs> um, tutorials up for you guys so you can continue to see how this is done. And, um, and if you have questions, please email them in, and we'll try and get a tutorial up about that particular subject so you guys can continue to add new information to your blogs and um, continue to grab that Internet traffic and convert it.